I really appreciate you joining me today, and this is a roundup of news from London. First, I'm going to get through this CCTV that I received the other day. It's dated from the 17th of last month, but the CCTV only arrived via a viewer two days ago. And anybody can send footage to news at scarcitystudios.com and their privacy will be respected. It shows three men on a ring doorbell trying car doors in the Harold Hill area of London. And they were stopped by the police who seen them doing this, but the locals were very confused. By the police reaction, the suspected thieves goaded them and whistled at them and then the police drove off and didn't stop them or inquire as to why they were trying car doors. I really want to hear what the viewers have to say on that story. In some other news coming from West Croydon on the 1st of March, police were called to West Croydon bus station and arrested a female on suspicion of robbery. Police arrived at 5.18 following reports of a fight involving a large group of youths. The police broke up the fight and video from the scene shows the large groups and also a large amount of police. There was at least 11 marked police cars. A Section 35 order was put in place to disperse groups and this would stay in place for at least 48 hours. This next story is about an incident that took place in Walthamstow on the 22nd of February. This is a week after there was a quadruple stabbing 100 yards away. This incident occurred at 6pm on Brandon Road and involved three people being stabbed. Thank you to Dave Nathan for his coverage from the scene and a 30 year old male was taken to hospital in a life threatening condition. Two other males aged 18 were found nearby with stab wounds. Two men have since been charged, Jason Akinkra and also Valerie Basanga. Jason is 18 and Valerie is 19 and they're both from North London. They have been charged with attempted murder and possession of an offensive weapon. So thankfully nobody was murdered and the condition of the man that is in hospital is stable. But it definitely shows there's a massive issue in this area with violence and also knives.
Going over to Romford for this next story, where three teenagers were stabbed on the 27th of February at 20 to 6 in the evening on Monday. Detectives in Havering are investigating after the incident in Romford Town Centre after three teenagers were left seriously injured. Superintendent Butterfield from the neighbouring policing team said, Our investigation is moving swiftly and we've made a number of arrests. We have coordinated between local police teams and CID and we will be increasing patrols in the local area to reassure the community. The police attended alongside the ambulance service and the three teenage boys aged 15, 16 and 17 were found with knife injuries. They were taken to hospital and their injuries are not life-threatening. Following on from this on the 28th of February, police were called at quarter past 10 on Tuesday to the Route 94 bus that was travelling on Oxford Street. A 25-year-old male who was a passenger on the bus was involved in an argument with another male. The 25-year-old received serious head injuries and is currently being treated in hospital and is in a critical condition. The suspect has not been arrested, but they have described him as being of Middle Eastern appearance and in his 20s. Video footage from Dave Nathan shows the police shutting down the very busy street in the middle of London and forensic officers gathering evidence from the bus. So hopefully this person makes a full recovery and I'll definitely keep you updated on any charges or the condition of the victim. Meanwhile in Hackney Central Overground Station on the 1st of March at 1.20 in the afternoon, British Transport Police were supported by armed officers after reports of gunshots. A male was found at the location with laceration wounds and was taken to hospital in a critical condition. There was a large police presence in the area and police have still not arrested anybody in connection to this story. And also on the 1st of March as well, at 10 to 9, Dave Nathan attended a scene in High Road 7 Kings where a male in his 60s suffered a knife injury. He was treated by paramedics before taken to an East London hospital and his injuries are not life-threatening. So really appreciate you joining me for these updates. There's plenty more news on the way. Please don't forget to check out the website at scarcitystudios.com and I'll be back again very shortly. Peace. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.